Hey there! Welcome to episode 3 of the Design With Me series. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, you can check them out on the iCards on the screen or they'll be linked in the description box below. However, if you're all caught up and ready for today's episode, stick around, I will have a surprise for you at the end. So I'll be the first to admit that today's episode is a little bit different and the reason for that is because my design process is a little bit chaotic. I'm gonna try my best to explain it, um, but yeah. <laughs> So far, we've looked at reference photos, drawn up our design, and started making and practicing the trickier parts of the pattern. So you think that the next logical step would be to make the final version and write out the pattern. Well, those are the easy parts as far as actually crocheting and typing up the pattern. Now, the tricky part is when you have to take about a million process photos and possibly even make a video tutorial. You remember how I said that we're going to keep this design simple? Well, it has jumped up to intermediate fairly quickly, and yeah, let me get into that. <laughs> so I had this idea in my head for the neck frills to be able to fold down, and I knew kind of what I wanted to do with the wire. However, I thought, you know, like, let's make another sample just to practice the wire before we get into the final project. And I'm really glad that I did because as you can see in this little clip here, I actually sewed the neck frills on first before I dealt with the wire and that made things super annoying. So I realized after doing the second experiment that I was definitely going to need to have a very specific flow for this pattern, meaning that whoever is going to be following it would have to make, you know, parts A, B, and C and assemble them in a very specific order um, for everything to turn out pretty easily. And that's not like that for all patterns, but certain patterns you really have to trust the designer and follow the steps because it uh, it's just easier that way. <laughs> so. I also realized doing this that I would need to make a full like video tutorial specifically for the head and the neck portion. So with a relatively simple pattern, you know, basic shapes, basic attachments, you can get away with taking photos of your project as you go and that will work. But with more complex pieces, you really not only need to take more photos, but you also need to possibly film a video tutorial. The end goal is to have every possible resource available for whoever is going to be making your pattern. And I know a lot of designers say, you know, you can reach out to me for help, but a lot of people don't feel comfortable reaching out to designers and they just want to be able to do the pattern. So if you provide as much help as you can up front, you're not only helping them, but you're also helping yourself that you're not having to answer questions all the time. And again, don't get me wrong, I don't mind answering questions about my patterns, but I like to provide as much help as I can up front as possible. So I decided that I was going to actually film and take photos of the project while I was making the final version instead of making a separate lizard to do like just for the video tutorial. And to be honest, if I wasn't filming this Design With Me series, then I probably would have just made a second lizard because it would have taken, it would have overall taken me more time to do but it would have been a little bit easier. I wouldn't have been multitasking quite as hard because, so I, I don't have a second camera, so I can't show you actual footage of me doing this, but literally I had to, you know, like stop, film a clip, stop, take photos, stop, film a clip, stop, take photos. Overall, I took about 70 photos and filmed about three hours worth of footage, and that was just on the head and neck. Didn't even get to the body or the legs or the tail or anything. Hence, this is part one of <laughs> making the final version. The point I'm trying to make with all of this rambling is that it took me a very long time. It took me about four hours to edit down all that footage into like a cohesive 50 minute video tutorial. And I haven't even touched editing all the photos yet. Um, there's like whether you're doing a simple pattern or a complex one there is a lot a lot of work that goes into the back end of patterns but if you have never designed a pattern never done any of this before i know it seems super daunting but you just take it one step at a time and go at your own pace and for me i actually really like editing photos not so much editing videos but I love editing photos and I love formatting my patterns. Like I was that kid in school that color coded my notes and then rewrote them if my handwriting wasn't pretty enough. So I kind of channeled that energy into my pattern writing. And anyway, I will get into more of the nitty gritty of like formatting and editing photos and stuff in another video. I don't want this one to be too terribly long, 
But needless to say, I actually filmed the video tutorial before actually writing up the pattern. And I don't typically do that. Um, typically I'll write everything up and then film the video tutorial. But with the way I'm doing this Design With Me series and taking photos and doing everything all at once, it made more sense to actually finalize the video tutorial first. And then I will go back and write everything up. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. Yay. Now it is time for the surprise. And that is our frilled lizard needs a name. He has a face, so he definitely needs a name. And there is one rule. I really like alliteration when I'm naming my patterns. So his name has to start with either an L or an F like Frank the lizard or Frank the frilled lizard. That's what I meant. Anyway, <laughs> so comment your name suggestions below. And once you've commented, go through and like uh, any of the other names that you like. And the one with the most likes will win. I will announce it in the next video, what his official name will be. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you're excited to get into more of the back end, like nitty gritty stuff of pattern writing. And if you like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.